Oh, hello to everyone out there. This is my beautiful goldfish swimming nicely in their beautiful home. Above is my rooting plants. But that's not what I'm going to talk about today. I'm about to go and pick up my conquats or calamansi or agridulci, whatever you call it. And I am going to show you how I do it and how big our tree is because I've been meaning to do it, but I just haven't bothered. But now I will. I do will have to give it away because I don't actually use it for anything. Um, yeah, so let's go and harvest my conquats. So here's my two basket that hopefully I fill up with lots and lots of fruit and my beautiful um, helping hand to cut the uh, this, this beautiful fruit up the top. As you can see, there's lots and lots of fruit. This is my Comquats Calamansi tree and I am going to share it with you. I will have to go drive to my sister's place later on and give it to her. I don't know what she use it for, but I am not going to use it and it's going to be just a waste of beautiful juice. Yes, I can do a Comquats juice, but it's too much for me. So I'm going to harvest it and share it around. So just one sec, I'm going to get gonna need uh, something to climb up those trees because it's quite high so as you can see it is a super juicy and full of beautiful fruit it loves the beautiful area in here or just in front of my house and yes I better collect them before they fall off all on the ground because there's been a lot of wind lately and it's just a shame no one's get to enjoy this lovely fruit. There's abundance of them, as you can see. I'll just zoom it in to see how lovely it is. Look at that, isn't that fascinating? They are super orange just because they're overripe or will overdue to be picking. So I'll just go and get my lift and I will be back. Okay, I found a leather, which I'm not sure if the best one to do it because it's not uh, it's not flat. It's going to be have to put against the wall, so I might go and search for another one because um, I don't think the conquats is strong enough to hold this against against it. So just one sec, I'll find another one. Okay, I found another one that might do the job. This at least I can uh, have it. An A-frame shape so I will be able to climb up there and cut my conquats so let's go and grab it and pop it next to the tree okay I shall see you over there okay here we are all nicely set up this is my little helper and I'm about to go and grab my basket and go up there and cut up some of this lovely conquats to share and I am going to bring this to my sister, so I've got my first basket, I might put it in here, or I might just let it fall under the, no, I better not do that, just in case, I don't want to fall off, I know where I can do it, hang it over here, there we go, now let's start our journey to collecting my conquats, okay, just a little bit of a, a footage, there's my empty basket and we're about to climb up the top. OMG, I hope I don't fall over. Oops. <laughs> it's a funny thing, isn't it? Oh, it wouldn't be funny. So look at that lovely juicy bunch. Isn't just amazing. Okay, now how do I do this? Let's see. What I might do is just cut them. And maybe I just let it fall down. I'll pick it up later because going to be so hard to actually hold it at the same time taking a video so I will just do that here we go and the tree will be happier instead of carrying this weight of their juice or their fruit okay so I'll know which one is which to pick because I've got the uh, I've still got a little bit of a branch that's carrying it and there are some already that's have dropped down from the wind from the previous night and but today 
I am going to collect them as much as I can. I probably won't be able to collect all of them today, but at least a basket full or two. And then I'll be able to drop it off to my sister so she can use it for whatever she wants to use. I know she uses a lot more Filipino stuff, which I don't. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at creating the Filipino cooking. I happen to uh, grow up in Australia and unfortunately my mom didn't cook a lot of Filipino food so I haven't really learned much but yes I'm still connecting though I got a lot of stuff that's in the Philippines and a lot of my life in Australia evolved around here but I'm still connecting a lot and helping my family wherever I can and again Look at that lovely juicy conquats or calamansi as they call it. Okay, so that was a little bit part of the the section. Now I know apparently this is quite expensive to buy overseas, but I am just fortunate to have it. So look, I've got one there. Actually got caught up while I was cutting it on the top and a little bit more okay so i will continue videoing as much as i can i might just uh, resume later on when i have a little bit more so keep watching and i will be back thank you okay before i cut them all up i'm going to take a little bit more videos of how lovely this beautiful conquat tree and I have in front of our house and today like I said I am cutting them with a little bit of um, the branch so it's kind of lasts a bit longer so I'm at the top of the tree um, collecting harvesting these beautiful lovely fruits now they are quite sweet it's actually quite nice to eat by itself or you can make a juice out of it or you can make a jam conquat jam or calamansi jam so there's plenty that you can do with this type of plants um, this fruit and it grows quite happily here um, you would think that it wouldn't because it is quite cold sometimes but at the moment it's giving me lots and lots of fruit it's quite happy you must like the way I look after it and if I can reach that one and cut it off all right just one moment okay guys I've just dropped off all my most of my fruit on the floor which I will be picking up later I know which one is the new one that drops because I left a little bit of um, a little bit of the brand or the stalk or whatever you call it so it will be I will be able to tell the, the difference between the old drops and the new one so I will video some more when this is a little bit more fuller okay a little bit more of my cutting before I show you the basket it's hopefully full of this lovely fruit I am at the top, it's a little bit scary being on the top, I'm not a very good at heights, I don't enjoy climbing things, but mind you as a little girl I used to climb about everything else, but when you're older it's a totally different story. Okay, Our kids never get afraid of heights, but I don't do Lol. Okay, here is some more. It'll take me a little while to collect all this fruit, but at least if I collect a little bit today, I can do some more tomorrow, and that way it stays fresh and not falling down the ground, because by the time it falls down the ground, it wouldn't taste very nice anymore, and you're not going to enjoy the flavor of this lovely fruit. So where am I? Over here. Okay. 
And it smells good too. I can smell it as I cut over here. I can smell the aroma of these lovely fruits giving me, especially the leaves. Here we go. a little bit now it's probably a lot more than what we think just got to be careful that I don't twist and hurt myself because taking a video at the same time cutting my fruit it is a little bit awkward and showing it to you guys so I can share with you my lovely kumquats or calamansi. Okay. Alright, time to collect some on the ground. Maybe a few more. Some, this is a nice sponge in here. Okay. My mother actually planted this lovely fruit. She loves planting and she literally just plants everything and everywhere. Wherever there is soil, she'll just pop it in there and they'll just grow. So I've been putting my grass cutting clips underneath this tree and I pruned them a little bit because it was growing a lot so maybe that will help them give me a lot more fruit I have no idea or oh, it's just because they're maturing this type of plant now I'm not exactly sure how many or how much kilo it is if you were to buy this at the shop so next time when I go shopping I will check it out and share with you the price that this kumquats is in our country of Australia and there we go yeah, you can hear the banging of the fruit coming down from the tree. There you go. And I don't want to have too long for this upload, so I'm going to go and collect some more and I will video how much I got so far in the basket so I'll see you downstairs when I'm collecting my dropped fruit that I just literally trimmed from the top like this okay so there you go oh I might just do this bit here on top of my head Don't knock me over. Okay. Thank you, beautiful tree, for giving me this lovely fruit. I know I don't use it much myself, but others will be able to enjoy you and whatever they will make I'll just cut that big branch there there it is okay and I'll just go down the bottom now because I can't really reach that one up there alright so I'll see you down the bottom gotta shake it off Same time, no, I try not to. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, there we go. Look how much is automatically catched up, caught up by me. Just cutting them and letting them pull down from the top. Quite a few bit, isn't it? So here we are. There's my conquats that I've just dropped from the top. Look how lovely that is. Isn't that gorgeous? So nice and juicy. There we go. The basket is quite uh, a good size, but for that short period of time that I was collecting, there's a good amount of conquat fruits already, and soon enough it will be full. It's definitely need harvesting because it is about to lose its juice for being so long in the tree. So I'm glad that I'm doing it today. Okay, just make sure that I do collect the new one that I dropped on the floor. Otherwise, it will be not soft to the touch. Okay. So does anyone want conquests? I'd be happy to give you some if I could because I don't really use this a lot for anything other than a little bit of juice and I know there's so much you can use this for and I'm sorry but it's not very popular here in Australia it's not like being in the Philippines well it's used a lot for a lot of food flavor um, I think people use it here quite a lot for making jam but I'm not into making jam so I don't know anyone that would but my sister will be able to use this one for something else she has got a little shop a takeaway shop maybe she can do a good use for this okay look I'm still collecting on the ground and I've almost filled up the uh, basket and I'm not even got it. it's just a tiny spot oh hello Junior this is my this is the only spot that I have taken it's not a huge space at all see and there's abundance more And the basket is almost full for just that section so as you can see there is quite a lot of fruit I don't know if I should get some more or maybe that's enough I'm not sure. because I don't want to collect them and then not being used otherwise it gets damaged and it gets damaged quicker than being on the tree so maybe that should be enough for today um, and I will collect some more tomorrow. I think they're better off being on the tree than sitting in the basket for a long time if no one's using it. So I'll just check with my sister, see if she can use this up today. So anyway guys, thank you for watching. This is my harvesting on my conquats. Um, as you can see, it has a deep orange overdue for picking and I have a lot more where that come from. So this is my tree. I have pruned them a few times but they keep coming up and growing and growing and giving me lots of beautiful fruit. Here we go. So I'm just going to show you some more. There we go. A whole lot more. Mind you, there's probably 10 baskets full in here. So, we'll see you in the next harvest of my lovely conquats. Thank you for watching. Enjoy.
and I'll see you soon.